watch, the Van Wert County Sheriff's Office says still no update in the investigation into who illegally released around 40,000 mink from an area farm. I'm sure you've been following this story, but listen to this. One local farmer says after all the damage to local livestock, she is planning a class action lawsuit. Reporter Michael Sandlin spoke to not only this farmer, but also a man who once committed the same crime. Uh, kind of looked over and I was like, there's a chicken body laying there. So I went over and looked at it. His face was all gone. I'm like, yep, that's a mink. Another mink attack, another chicken dead. Kristen Barnhart from Van Wert says it's months of work and hundreds, if not thousands of dollars down the drain. Barnhart tells WTOL 11 she was considering filing a class action lawsuit to hold the mink farm responsible. Now, after she found her own chickens dead, she's prepared to move forward. And I don't even want any money. Like, I spent six months raising this chicken for it to die. I really just don't want the mink farm to exist, is, is the truth of it. Barnhart says she's planning to reach out to lawyers and believes multiple farmers will join in. Graffiti found at the mink farm suggested animal activists may have let loose tens of thousands of mink. Barnhart says she can understand those feelings toward the fur industry, but the damage to livestock and the local ecosystem wasn't worth the cost. But for others, it's a small price to pay. Joseph Buddenberg is a member of the Animal Liberation Front, the same group whose name was spray painted at the mink farm. In 2013, a judge sentenced him to two years in federal prison after releasing some 5,000 mink from fur farms. He says no animal should be put in such conditions. In a tiny wire cage, filthy, cramped conditions, stacked on top of each other, denied everything natural to them. And um, every year in the pelting season, around November or December, they're, uh, they're killed by means of gassing. Buddenberg served his time and doesn't regret what he did. They have a very bad track record of catching these people. Um, these people, you know, exercise security culture, and they, um, they're very good at what they do. Um, I don't think they'll be caught. For WTOL 11, I'm Michael Sandlin. It has been around two weeks since somebody let those mink go. We have reached out to the farm for comment, but we have not been able to get in touch with anyone there. Experts telling WTOL 11 the weather and wildlife will likely kill the domesticated mink. We'll keep following this story for you.